Hello! Today I will be talking about support blockers and support enforcing for Orca Slicer. Let's load up Orca Slicer. I will be using a prototype endoscope mount that I have been designing. Subscribe for a full video on that later. Because of the nature of the design, I have some overhangs in the model. Normally, I would just enable support in the slicer settings and let it generate the supports. In this case, Orca is putting supports on sections of the model that do not need supports as the overhangs are easily bridged. To prevent the slicer from putting supports where they are unwanted, let's go back to the Prepare tab and click on the model. With the model selected, we then click on the Support Painting button. There are a few different options here, but I won't go into all of them for this video. As I move the model around, you can see some areas are highlighted in red and blue. Red means the slicer detects an overhang and it will generate support on that feature. Blue means that the model is touching the bed and supports will not be generated there. For this model, I don't need overhangs in the oval or in the small gap. Let's start with the small gap first. By right clicking on the model, I can paint the feature so the slicer does not create a support in that area. The deeper red indicates a support blocker. You do not need to be super accurate with the support painter as long as you get most of the area. For the oval, I will switch to the fill option. Now with one right click, I can put a blocker on the inside of the oval. Slicing the plate will show supports generated only in the spots I did not block. Note that because I only use support blockers in the support painter, this technique will only work for the automatic support types. Let's go back to the support painter for a different way of doing supports. First, I'm going to click on the erase all button. This will remove any manually painted supports or blockers. Now with a clean model, I can left click to place supports. Using the fill, I click on the overhang to change the highlight to a green color. Green means there will be a support generated here. Clicking back to the circle tool, I will then paint the section I want a support. With the appropriate selections highlighted, I can now select the manual supports and click save. As you can see, Orca only generated supports where I highlighted the model. In conclusion, automatic supports are good if you want to block specific features of a part. Manual supports are good if you want supports in specific areas. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments if you want me to make another video on supports, or if you want a video of something specific with Orca Slicer. And always, subscribe for more content.